Welcome back to Luat Home. We are still in our series, Land Ownership in the Philippines. Now, just to backtrack, we already discussed about the Regalian Doctrine, the basis of our ownership, and then we discussed about the Torrent System, which is the system of registration of our title. And the last episode, we're done with one of the ways wherein we can obtain a Torrent's title. Isa sa mga proseso kung saan we can uh, magkaroon tayo ng Torrent's title, and that is by judicial proceedings. And di ba sinabi natin na meron ding ibang paraan and that is administrative proceedings. Yan ang topic natin ngayon. But just again to review, sinabi natin na based on the Regalian Doctrine, all lands of the public domain belong to the state. Kaya yung mag-apply ng title ay kailangan mag-approve mo na na pagmamayari mo na yan, naging private ownership mo na yan based doon sa requirements sa batas. Okay? So, doon sa judicial proceedings, actually, sinasabi mo na hindi na ito land of the public domain kasi na pagmamayari ko na ito based doon sa requirements like yung prescription, yung possession mo uh, in, in uh, such a period of time na Sinabi ng batas na maging sayo na yan. So in short, kiniklaim mo na na yung inapplyan mo hindi na yan land of the public domain. Kaya i-confirm na lang ng court na may titulo ka na yan. Right? Ngayon, we will discuss about the administrative proceedings. Meaning, hindi ka nadadaan sa court. Okay? Pupunta ka na lang sa isang opisina, sa isang officer ng government natin, at saka doon mo i-apply ang titulo na ito. So, this is provided for in Section 103 of PD 1529. Ito isa sa mga paraan kung saan makakuha ka ng Torrance title na hindi ka pupunta sa court. Okay? Kaya, if you read Section 103 of PD 1529, sinabi ito, Certificate of Title by Virtue or Based on Patent. So, kaya... Narinig mo may mga title na free patent title or yung iba naman homestead settlement patent no? or yung iba naman sales patent title. This will be our topic today. Okay? So again, read section 103 but you have to take note that if you avail of this procedure, you are in effect admitting that the property that you're applying for is still part of the public domain, still a land of the public domain. No? Kasi nga, ina-apply mo sa government ito. Unlike doon sa ordinary registration proceedings, sinasabi mo na, no, hindi na ito kasama sa land of the public domain kasi napagmamayari ko na ito, private ownership na ito. But dito, sa administrative proceedings, you admit that the land that you're applying for is still part of the public domain. And we learn sa constitution natin, under the Regalian Doctrine pa rin, na ang pwede lang i-apply ng private individual na pwedeng ma-dispose or ma-alienate ng government are those agricultural lands of the public domain. Yun lang ang pwedeng matituluhan. Kaya, if you are applying for Torin's title using the administrative proceedings, you are admitting that the land is an agricultural land of the public domain. No? Saan ka pupunta? Doon ka sa Director of Lands, sa Bureau of Lands. Director of Lands, pinigyan siya ng authority as a quasi-judicial officer. Hindi siya judicial officer, quasi-judicial officer lang. No? Pero may authority siya to receive your requirements, yung evidence na qualified ka. So ano ang authority ng Director of Lands? Tanggapin niya yung mga i-present mo na mga documents if you are qualified no, to obtain title by way of patent. At saka to determine whether the land that you're applying for is an agricultural land of the public domain na disposable and alienable. 
yun ang role ng director of lands. Okay? Hindi na formal hearing. Okay? Administrative proceedings lang nga ito eh. So you just present there your evidence. Pag na-convince ang director of lands, mag-grant siya ng patent. There are three uh, modes or three uh, types of uh, patent na may issue dito. One is uh, homestead settlement. Two is sales patent or sinasabing miscellaneous sales. Pariho lang yan. And third is free patent. Okay, kaya sina-mention ko na ito before na baka may makikita ka ng mga titulo no sa mga lolo mo, lola mo, so parents mo na free patent title. Okay? The proceed the procedure in obtaining those titles is through section 103. So once na grant na ng director of lands yung patent na hinihingi mo, he will now submit it to the registry of deeds para ma-record, ma-register doon and for the issuance of original certificate of title. And itong original certificate of title na ito based on patent or free patent ay Torin's title din ito. Pariho lang ang, ang, ang effect nito. Pariho lang ang value. Pero ano ang diferensya? May difference. The difference is that may restriction. Okay? May restriction ito. The common restriction is you cannot, no? The the holder of the Torrens title based on patent cannot dispose of the land, cannot alienate it, cannot transfer it, cannot sell it within five years from the time of the grant. Otherwise, the sale or disposition or transfer would be null and void. So, yun ang common limitations niya. Otherwise, pag naglampas na yung five years, pwede na. Right? So, that's the administrative way of obtaining Torrens title. Next episode, i-discuss natin yung pangatlong paraan kung magkakaro magkaroon kayo ng Torrens title. And that is the cadastral proceedings. Na-mention na natin ito, but We'll discuss that in detail next episode. So again, to review, how can you get Torrens title? First, judicial proceedings, ordinary registration. Second, administrative proceedings through patent. And then, cadastral proceedings we will discuss next week. Okay? Thank you so much for joining us here at Law at Home. Send your questions. Tag your friends. Send and share this uh, video to your, your uh, family members, your friends, whom you know are interested in learning about the law on land ownership. Okay? Thank you so much. And this has been Attorney Rico Rintusa reminding you to stay at home, stay safe, and stay out of legal trouble. Bye-bye. God bless you.